what is up and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm back from my long hiatus, but I have a reason for my long missing on YouTube, if that makes any sense. Pretty much, I am struggling with depression and it really dragged me down, so I really didn't want to do anything. I pretty much just went to work came home and just watched YouTube online. I love YouTube, like I love watching it, but I wanted to be able to do more with my life because I know that I have a channel that I have to keep going. Good thing is, as of like last Friday, I got medicated. I take medication for my depression. It's not my first time taking medication for it. I'm taking medication now. I'm taking sertraline, which is a Zoloft type of medication if you are familiar with that. This video is my first ever what is on my iPad. Yay! Um, fun fact, back in the day, I want to say 2012 era and a little bit after that, you know, I just kind of like sprinkled it in. I used to watch what's on my iPad videos. I never had an iPad. I never got one. I was never bought one. Back when I was in seventh grade, I wanted the iPad too. Yes, that was the iPod that was out back in the day, I, the iPad 2. And I never got it because then I got an Android tablet instead, which you would have saw in my my history with ebooks video. But I now own this puppy right here. She's beautiful. She's treated me well, but she's gonna be replaced. I wanted to do this video to show what is on this iPad because I, I mean, there is nothing wrong with this one, but I really, really want the Pro. Like, I really want, like, the Pro iPad. So I thought before that happens, I would show what is on this one. Which, yes, when I get the Pro and I start downloading apps, I will definitely show what was on that one, but I should do it for this one. This is the base model 10.2 inch 7th generation iPad is what this is and i have the 32 gigabyte one if you want to see what is on it just keep on watching and without further ado lego before we get into the screen recording part of the video i want to quickly show you my lock screen on it and if you know me personally my lock screen is not much of a surprise to anyone who knows me personally <laughs> my lock screen is a collage that I put together of a certain celebrity. Yes, she might not call herself that, but she's well known, so I think she should be that. Yep, and that celebrity is Call Me Chris. She's like my favorite TikToker on this planet. Chris, if you ever see this video, hi, I love you so much. You are beautiful. You are amazing, talented, spectacular. I love you. Like, don't stop being amazing. And my favorite character is Katrina. Um, but if the people watching this right now, if you are also a fan of Call Me Chris, comment your favorite character. Mine's Katrina. Yeah, and you will notice that. <laughs> when I show you my home screen. <laughs> so without further ado, I'm gonna get on into the screen recording part of the video. So, let go. So as we see here, this is the main home screen of my iPad. Um, in the top left-hand corner, I have my battery widget. The reason why I have it there is because I can see how charged my pencil is because I do use the Apple Pencil because I, I mean, as a creative and as someone who found digital planning and just like loved it, I kind of needed it. So I have the first generation one. So yeah, and I forgot to mention that this iPad, the like listing on Amazon said it's gold, but it looks rose gold. So I think that might be what it is, rose gold, but the listing says gold, so I don't know. As you see here, my pencil is at 77%. Then I have two widgets of Chris. Um, 
Yeah, and she's also my background, but the one in the beanie, that's her character Katrina. If you don't know her characters, that one is Katrina. She's the Russian character, and then the rest are just her. The apps I have on here is or our YouTube, which I don't really watch on my iPad. I will sometimes, but it's very rare that I do. I will watch it either on my laptop, my TV with the Roku, or my desktop, or my phone. But I have it here just in case I want to, plus I'm addicted to it, so I kind of need it there. Um, then I have Shortcuts for Siri. And then I have Spotify, which is my music slash podcast platform of choice which here's the podcast that I have with my best friend AJ, which if you haven't heard it, go do it. We have so much fun doing it. More or less, I wanted to start like with kind of the first circumstance that we met actually, like with Chelsea involved. Well, I don't remember a lot, like a whole lot. I just know that, I just remember seeing you in first period class or sophomore year of high school. I was pretty much alone around that time. Yes, I had a few friends, but overall I stuck to myself. I stayed in a corner most of the damn time. Literally, we just, we are crazy kids. That's why I, I, I called it that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it might, it, it kind of sounds like a funny name, but it describes us per, it, it describes us perfectly. We are a bunch of crazy kids. So I, we have two of them there now, but there are definitely more coming. We definitely have more recorded but I am on editing duty. Um, I mean, it, it was kind of a given. The one that is going up next is Am I the A-Hole? From like the like Reddit thread thing. Yeah. So that's what we're doing next. We already have it recorded. I just need to get it edited and up. But if you want to listen to what we have there now, go do it. It's on Spotify, Google, Apple and Anchor. And then I have some. My main one is called Tiffany's Coffee Thoughts, which used to be called But First Create, if you remember that. Like the video. Um, but this is that one. I haven't really updated it in a long time, but it's there. So if you want to listen to that, you can do that. That, that one's actually my first one. Then I have one that I update more, which is my LGBT themed one and it's called Let's Be Honest and it looks like this. And I would highly recommend you listen to the last one that is up here, number 10, because that one features AJ. So then I have Gmail because that's the email that I use and then I have settings which I know there's an update but I don't know if I have space for it so I'm going to have to check on that. But this folder is the one I use the most, I would say, or one of them. So in this folder, I have Art Studio, which I've used on my channel, not on my iPad, but on my iPhone when I had that. Um, but you can watch my, my favorite one I did was the Recreating Pinterest Wallpapers Episode 4. You can see it there, but so... You should go and watch it. I love how it turned out. So go do that. That'd be amazing. Affinity Designer, which is a program similar to Adobe Adobe Illustrator. So it's like a vector-based app. Procreate. I have that. Cricut Design Space, because I have a Cricut machine. Then one of my favorite apps, one of the apps that gets used like a lot is Art Studio Pro and you've definitely seen this on my channel as well. It kind of mimics like a computer program which is one of the reasons why I like it so much. So for example here's one of the plans for a planner that I want to put together. Um, but see how how it's got like file, edit, image, you know stuff like that. I use this a lot for a lot of my stuff. Publisher 2 from Affinity and I use it to make digital planners and stuff like that. So now what I'm working on is a digital recipe book. See? And then in my productivity folder, I have the notes, which is the app I use to plan digitally. I don't know why it's doing that. Then I have OneNote, 
which looks like this. Anchor, which is the podcast host that I use. Um, LastPass for my passwords. I got the Etsy Safari shortcut because I don't know why, but for some reason, Etsy makes it so that when you buy things that are digital on Etsy, you can't download them from the app, which is kind of stupid. You have to do it from a browser, so I have the shortcut there. And then I have ES File Explorer, then I have iFont to download fonts, Microsoft Word, Zinnia, Widget Smith, and OneDrive. And then I have Social which I don't really use my iPad for really social media. I will sometimes, but it, it's not like a main thing that I do. I do it more with my phone than my iPad, but I have Pinterest, which speaking of Pinterest, I do have a series here on my channel where I recreate stuff from Pinterest. I have one that I recreate wallpapers and I have one that I recreate bullet journal spreads. So I highly recommend you check it out. I just saw this, so I'm going to just save it. But yeah, this is where, see, here's a picture of Chris. <laughs> and then I would just download that, so. Yeah, see, I just look through and I'll find something like, oh, here's something that's cool. I mean, that that's not a spread, but that's kind of what I do. If you want to follow me, I will link it in the description. But this is my account. Um, and then I have Instagram, which I just posted to my story not too long ago. As you see up here, you can see it. But this is my account. I'm just at Tiffany Luan Because this Tiffany Luan was taken. And then I have Facebook for my personal Facebook account. And then I have Facebook Messenger. It, then I have shopping, which I touch this kind of folder more on my phone but i have it on here just in case you know so i got amazon because jeff bezos has my money i mean i pay for prime i have the echo i have the kindle i'm surprised i do not have the fire like the fire stick or the fire tv yeah i don't i use roku but i i also buy from there a lot of my stuff is from amazon so kind of have an obsession but it's there um, then I have Etsy, because I shop on there sometimes too. Then I have sell on Etsy and the Etsy seller, because yes, I do have a shop on there. I sell stationery and digital planning stuff. So right now I have on there um, stickers and some greeting cards, but I'm trying to work on getting notepads up there, so... But that's going to be coming soon, so don't you worry about that. But this is what I have on there right now. My shop is called Tiffany's Creative Mind. So if you want to buy something from me, that's my shop. So, and then I have my Apple Notes app. And then I have my app store where I download my apps because I'm an app hoarder. Um, then I have the beloved TikTok that I spend a lot of my time on. <laughs> Listen, I, you, you, you can't help it. You really can't help it. You just, you just can't stop scrolling. You can't. It's impossible to stop scrolling. I use it more on my phone though, but I have it on here. And yes, I do post. I have been posting more on there than I have been on YouTube here, but. So if you want to follow me, I'm just at Tiffany Luann. I talk about books. When, like, I'll talk about, like, when I read a book, I will, like, give my thoughts about it as I'm, like, reading it. And then I'll, like, give my thoughts about it when I'm done with it. So, I think it was yesterday I have finished another book and I just wanted to come on here and discuss about my thoughts and all that fun stuff. And then this game, I think I mentioned it in my fun phone games video, but I found it as an ad back in, like, 2015. It's called Jelly Splash. And you play it like, um, Best Fiends. I might not be signed in, but we can try. There is no my music, but apparently since I'm hooked to this, it's not going to play, but. See, so you just.
It's like so cute, like it's so fun. But yeah, that's that app. And then on my dock, I have messages. I have my files, because I have a lot of files. My photos and Chrome. But in my photos, I can show you um, my background is this, which <laughs> is actually, <laughs> it's not a photo as you see by the watermark. It is a frame from a TikTok, <laughs> which is how I get a lot of my photos of her. Um, Chris, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be a creep, but you're just so freaking beautiful. Okay. So I, I do stuff like this. <laughs> um, yeah, my friends would know. Um, but yeah, so then this is what I have as my background on my lock screen. Yeah. It's just a lot of my favorite pictures of her. So, again, I'm a creep. No, I'm not. No, I'm not trying to be a creep, but I just... Yeah. I'm obsessed with her. Can you tell? <laughs> can you tell that I'm obsessed with Call Me Chris? Like, can you tell? <laughs> Yeah, and then I, I, I just have like the basic Apple apps, but on my second screen here, I have Apple Podcasts and I have Color Widgets, but there's not really much else that I have. Of course, I have like the calendar, contacts, you know, all stuff that comes with it, Keynote, stuff like that, but that's pretty much most of it that I have on here. I also have FaceTime. But yeah, I don't have much on here because there's not a ton of room, so I try not to overload it. But yeah, so that is all that I have on my iPad. I I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I had so much fun making it, and again, guys, like I missed filming for you guys. Like I seriously haven't done it in so long, so I miss it so much. But I'm back. Hi, I have more videos planned, but if you like my content, then hit, hit the subscribe button. That would be amazing. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up because that would show me that you like it and that I'm doing something right. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye. Think